was living in sin, when I was being rebellious against God, when I did not care about God's will, when I did not care if God even existed, but yet, God in knowing that, He still sent His Son, that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. It applies to me, it applies for all of us, that while we were still sinners, and this involves everyone, all the world, past, present, and future, while we were still sinners, while you were still living in sin, while I was still living in sin, while we were still enemies of, of God, Christ died for us. Amen. Hallelujah. Christ still died for us. God showed his love for each of us by still sending his son when he didn't have to. God could have just let us live in sin. He could have just let us be in rebellion. He could have just let us just dwell in our wicked ways and we just would have gone to hell. We just would have received the just punishment for our sins, the just punishment for our rebellion, the just punishment for never turning to God, for always against, always going against the will of the Lord. God could have just left us where we were. He could have perfectly and easily, but yet that was not the case. God still had the plan of salvation. God still sent his son, Jesus Christ, that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Since therefore we now have been justified by his blood. Amen. Much more shall we be saved by him from the wrath of God. For if while we were still sinners, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more, amen, much more. Now that we are reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. If we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, then much more now do we have life because the son has life, because the son did not stay dead, because Jesus rose from the grave. And we too, one day, will rise as well. Even if we pass on from this life and we go to the grave, that's only temporary. That is only temporary. Sure, the early believers who died in Christ in the first century, right? They're still in the grave. But yet and still after 2,000 years, that's still only temporary. The Lord will return. And all of us too will rise. And we'll be together with the Lord. <laughs> and in verse 11 here of Romans 5, it says, And more than that, because, you know, we haven't been hit with enough good news. There's just more and more and more. So more than that. We also rejoice through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. See, before we were made, we were enemies with God. We were enemies of the Lord, but not anymore. Thanks be to God that because of Christ, we are now reconciled with God. As it says here, we also rejoice through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. 